All right, teaching science is not an easy task. Trust me, I took a plenty of science classes myself, but a hands-on approach can actually help make learning a memorable experience for children. So joining me this morning, Juan Melian, did I pronounce it correct? That's exactly right. And Sharon Zajac, that one was a lot easier, of uh, the STEM school in uh, West Hartford. Smith STEM school, okay, in West Hartford. First of all, good morning to you both. Thank you for good waking morning. up. You're both teachers, so you're used to being awake this early in the morning. I should have realized that. Um, talk to me about the, STEM, about the STEM school. First of all, what is, what is a STEM school? Yeah, STEM is science, engineering, technology, and math. And so this, that's our area of focus. Mm -hmm. uh, we are elementary school in West Hartford Public Schools. What are the uh, age groups that you guys so have? Pre-K through five. Okay. Those are the, the grades we have. So, so talk to me about the school. What is, what is the difference between a STEM school? You guys are a public school. You're a magnet school. Yes. Um, what is the difference between your school and, uh, and a regular one? What makes your school better? Go ahead. We have the STEM That's specialist, the Sharon. Go ahead. <laughs> it, it's the way we teach. Um, instead of just the teacher being the source of information and the child passively listening, we mm -hmm. want children to take an active role in their learning. Um, so a big part of our vocabulary throughout pre-K through five is what do you notice, what do you wonder? We want kids' questions to drive the learning experience. And this is something we talked about earlier. The kids are changing. We, we know that. The, the hands-on approach is something that is really needed in order to help keep kids' attention. You find that that really helps the kids learn a lot better when they're doing these hands-on type you know, things at the school? Most definitely. Um, and it, it equalizes. Uh, we, we do believe in enrichment for all. Uh, and our teachers have been trained by the Connecticut Science Center in inquiry, uh, which really has transformed how we teach. Um, but engineering is a great thing, too, that we do. Uh, engineering is elementary mm -hmm. from the Museum of Science in Boston. So children are applying science to solve problems and create technology. Talk to me a little bit about this right over here. And, and this is why I wanted to get in on this, because I guess you guys launched a weather balloon back in October. Yeah, this was, uh, I, I believe, October 21st. Okay. This is a grant we received from the Foundation for West Hartford Public Schools. Very nice. Which are uh, great supporters of our public schools in West Hartford. And we launched this uh, weather balloon up 80,000 feet and was just remarkable. So the whole school gathered on the ground. We launched it from the roof and it uh, ended up uh, landing in Spencer, Mass. So oh, it wow. had a GoPro camera, mm -hmm. GPS, so the kids were able to track uh, the balloon uh, from the classrooms and uh, through the internet. And, and so it was just fantastic. fantastic so yeah. Talk about the kids, you know, when they do something like that. It's not in, in a classroom you're being told that a weather balloon can go to 80,000 feet. They're seeing it with the GPS. They're seeing, you know, with the camera where, where this balloon went. What, did, what happens to the kids when they see I these I think that the things? biggest thing is uh, how inspiring. They really dream with these things. I think that's the best thing I can say. And, and just seeing their faces. We had, a, we showed the a recording that the, the, the GoPro camera it took uh, during the flight and, and we showed that in one of our school assemblies the reaction uh, the kids had uh, that day uh, in that assembly was just amazing it was uh, probably one of the best most beautiful mm -hmm. uh, days in my life as an educator seeing the reaction i could see their faces a uh, dream and say oh i can do this Went because to the they, stratosphere yeah. Yeah. they yeah. felt no. like they were in space and yeah. and that's one of the amazing things that's the hand on hands on approach thing that's so great so you guys are a magnet school you're not a regular public school which means kids have to enroll in the school when do they have to enroll in the school we are a, a west hartford public school okay. we are a district magnet school so gotcha. only west hartford residents can attend and that through a lottery system, but we are, we are at West Hartford Public And schools. when do they have to put in the tickets for the lottery? This is in February, March is when all the process starts for our West Hartford residents. There you go. So get moving on that, friends.